Let's be honest, there is nothing more annoying than building an app on your local environment and then having to jump through all the hoops of configuring and debugging the production environment. It feels like there is always a library missing, a version mismatch or a deprecated server component. After all, the famous it works on my machine excuse has a lot of truth behind it. Sharing code should be that simple. This is why since Dino 1.6, the compile command has empowered developers to turn JavaScript and TypeScript programs into single standalone binaries that run on all major platforms. No dependencies, no additional installs required. This approach has a handful of very useful implications. First of all, your software gains cross-platform compatibility since it can be distributed in a single binary that works without a Dino runtime or other dependencies. Then, all your assets will be bundled together inside a binary for easy portability. What's more exciting is that your deployment will be streamlined. You simply have to ship one binary to production, so no more headaches with build pipelines. Finally, you'll benefit from improved startup times compared to your typical server runtime setups. What's even more exciting is that Dino 2 introduced a lot of improvements to Dino Compile, like support for NPM packages, web workers, cross-compilation, smaller binary sizes, and code signing with custom icons. These upgrades mean you can now compile not only scripts, but also complete applications, like desktop games, directly to native binaries. Also, you can do all of this with Dino in a single command, whereas with Node, it is an 8-step compilation process. So how does Dino Compile work? Even though the command is called compile, it doesn't compile JavaScript in the traditional sense. Instead, it embeds your JavaScript and TypeScript into a special Dino runtime binary called dnort. When you run the command, a slimmed down version of the Dino runtime is downloaded. And if you're cross-compiling for a different operating system, the runtime for that platform is downloaded. Then, your script, along with any dependencies, is bundled as an eZip file which is a lossless format for serializing an ECMAScript script module graph. Finally, the bundle is injected into the runtime binary. Note that by embedding the bundle into a section of the executable, the resulting binary can still be code signed. Of course, code signing ensures that your binary is verified and trustworthy, which is critical for software distribution. Let's see all of this in action. We can create a new TypeScript file, import the open library from Dino's open source package registry, and then open a web page. Then, in the terminal, we'll execute compile, which will output the expected binary with all required dependencies. Now, you can share this single file on any platform without requiring the end user to install Dino. It is also worth mentioning that you can pass opt-in permission flags in the Dino compile command. The permission flags will then be preserved in the compiled binary, giving you an added layer of security over how your binary can be used. Dino Compile opens up the potential for bundling web-based games and apps as native desktop executables. So now you could take your JavaScript game and turn it into a binary that's easy to share and launch on any desktop. This is one of the many amazing things that Dino Platform is offering, and you can check some of the other cool stuff we are building in some of our other videos. Until next time, thank you for watching.